Welcome back guys. Since I've wrapped up these two trim coatings tests, I wanted to do a few things to them before I recycle them. I've had a few subscribers ask to see this, so here goes. First and foremost, I don't advise doing this unless you're doing it as a last ditch effort or if you have some kind of beater car, something like that. And that being the torch method. You've heard me talk about it before and although it seems to hold up pretty well and for a decent amount of time, it brings the oils and the plastic to the surface and it makes the rest of it pretty brittle, which is why I don't recommend it. And further, you can't do it more than a few times, otherwise it's gonna get really bad looking. Uh, it's a bit tricky to get it uniform looking as I'm showing you here. And if you overheat something, there's no going back. It's melted. So I'm gonna do half the panel here and you can see I'm, I'm not doing any prep work, not doing anything. There's still some of the existing product, so you're obviously going to see that. But the point is to show you what it can potentially look like. And this is a black panel. My One of my other panels is gray. Just showing you, using a torch, if you get too close, the plastic will get real soft and it gets really, really shiny. That's what you want to avoid. You want to try to keep a uniform distance. And I've seen other people doing this method you actually have like a dowel that's attached to your torch just to keep the perfect uniform distance away but you have to keep moving if you sit in one spot it will melt the plastic as far as my experience doing this i usually don't do trim this way when i was detailing back in the 90s we always did this for seat belts so the the little red latch it would always turn pink in the sunlight because our window tent obviously wasn't as good then as it is now at rejecting infrared and UV. So what do you think? Have you guys done this? Have you had a similar outcome as this? Have you screwed it up? Have you melted something? Let me know in the comments. So we're going to jump over and try the Kiwi shoe die for the other half and we'll see how that holds up. $3 at my local Walmart. I'm going to use a ceramic coating applicator brick, but you don't have to really use that. You can use a sponge, you can use a towel, uh, an old emery cloth, anything really. It, a little bit of, of abrasiveness so it can help spread it in. So you put it on pretty thick and you just, you don't want to let it dry. So if you don't want to do this out in the sunlight. So you can see you may have to go back and do a second layer. Sometimes it just doesn't get quite even, but as you wipe it dry, of course you can see the old products that were on there, they're rejecting it, so it's gonna look different there. But on the areas that didn't have anything remaining, you can see it does look fairly uniform. It's not as good as actually using one of these products that we had tested in the trim test, but it's not bad, especially considering $3. You know, would I put this on a Ferrari? Probably not, but a Honda Civic that's 15 years old, I probably wouldn't hesitate to do that. In the 90s, this was the go-to for these big rubber bumpers on these cars from the 80s, well, 70s, 80s, and early 90s. And there you have it, fairly uniform as long as there's nothing underneath. So it needs a well-prepped surface. That's what that tells us. And there's the side with the torch. It needs a little bit of touching up. So subscriber requested, there's your answer. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you soon, guys.